Welcome to A State of Sight. I'm Isaac Porter and this is your update in ophthalmology and eye care. And in this episode, I would like to explain Sjogren syndrome, which is a very specific type of dry eye syndrome that happens in patients that don't make enough of the watery component of their tears. You probably remember the tears are made up of the watery part and the oily part in order to make the full tear film. And the way this works is when the eye senses irritation or dryness, messages are sent back to the brain to let the brain know that the eye feels dry. And then messages are sent back forward to the tear glands. These tear glands then produce the watery part of the tear. And that's why when people get irritated or their eyes feel scratchy or their eyes get scratched because of the irritation, they can start producing a lot of watery tears that can start running down their cheek. Sjogren syndrome can be a very difficult diagnosis to make, but basically it's a type of inflammatory dry eye that we usually see in people that have a type of inflammatory disease through the rest of their body, like rheumatoid arthritis. There's a whole list of different criteria to check to make the actual diagnosis of Sjogren syndrome. And if some of these uh, criteria are met, but not all of them, uh, could be considered what we call secondary so Sjogren syndrome, which is uh, basically in the same family. Uh, these different components that we look at to make the diagnosis are symptoms on the eye if people are irritated or having trouble from it. Uh, it includes the eye exam and the things that we find when we look at the eye. And it also includes findings by looking under the microscope from taking a sample from the tear glands or from the sal salivary glands that make the saliva. Um, because of that, that's another component that's involved in the syndrome where people have dry eyes and also dry mouth. And also there can be blood tests that play in a role in making the diagnosis. And then when we find out that patients do have Sjogren syndrome, fortunately there are treatments to help increase the tear production and make more of the watery component of the tears. Uh, one of the treatments that was designed specifically for this is Restasis. You probably see lots of commercials and advertisements for Restasis because is made to increase tear production by decreasing the inflammation. Uh, other treatments like using artificial tear drops or putting plugs in the tear drains, other things that we discussed earlier in a state of sight over dry eye syndrome could also be effective for Sjogren syndrome. Uh, so please let us know if you have any questions or comments about Sjogren syndrome or if you happen to have Sjogren's syndrome and want to share any of, your, any of your experience, please post. We'll be happy to interact with you. And we hope to see you again soon, next time on A State of Sight.